Hello, my name is Brent Fetters Crouch with SPX Cooling Technologies, and today we will be discussing belt drive components. Specifically, we will be talking about nomenclature, some design aspects, belt tensioning, and sheave alignment. To start off, we will introduce bushings. Bushings essentially attach sheaves to shafts. The bushings that we commonly use are split tapered bushings, which means that they have a split in them and that they are tapered the barrel of the bushing is tapered. The taper of the bushing and the size of the barrel is denoted by an alphanumeric designator, usually two letters long. This one is STS, this one is SK, here's an SD bushing. This alphanumeric designator signifies what sheave or what barrel that the bushing is meant for. So in this case, we have a SK sheave to mount an SD bushing to and shaft, and those you know fit right in there. Bushings commonly have three eye holes and three threaded holes. The eye holes match up with the threaded holes in the sheave, and when those are inserted, you are able to screw the bushing into the sheave, and as you tighten these around, it gets driven into the sheave and tightened because of the split around the shaft that you're mounting it to. The bushing also has three threaded holes. If the bushing needs to be removed for any reason, they are inserted into the threaded holes, and as they are tightened and lowered, it pushes the bushing out of the sheave. Sheaves are denoted by the number of grooves. The groove cross-section, we commonly use B, the pitch diameter, and the bushing size the sheave was bored to accept. So in this case, we have a two groove sheave with a B cross section, and we'll get to that when we talk about belts. The pitch diameter, which is the effective um, imaginary diameter that the belt and sheave make contact with each other, and then SK, which fits the SK bushing. Here we have the inside of a belt-driven tower. Here we can see the motor. It's the motor sheave driving this belt, which is attached to the fan shaft sheave, which is attached to the fan shaft by the fan shaft bushing. And up here we got bearings that hold it all in place. Belts like sheaves are referred to by their uh, cross section. Um, this one is a B belt. Uh, some other ones we have A and V but primarily for our purposes, we, we use B belts. They're also referred to by the number of ribs that they have. This one has two, along with the fan shaft uh, sheave. Uh, this doesn't necessarily have to match one for one. You can have a three grooved sheaved with a, with a two ribbed belt. The other part of the uh, belt part description is uh, Either it's, it's going to be a cogged belt uh, like this one, or it's going to be a classical style, and they, they, don't, they don't have the cogs and the, the ribs that are perpendicular to the belt direction. The final part of the part description is the overall length of the belt. Having the proper belt tension is important in these belt-driven systems. If your belt is too tight, you're going to create a high radial load on the lower bearings, which you don't want to do, and uh, if it's too loose, uh, your belt's going to slip. So make sure you want to have the proper tension in there. Um, this is a uh, belt tensioning gauge. Basically, it works by you know depressing the plunger um, and measuring the resistance by the amount of deflection that you're going to have in your belt. Basically, you want to measure the distance in between the contact points between your belt and your sheave. You're going to press in here in the middle of it and find the deflection for the amount of pounds applied. You also want to make sure that your sheaves are properly aligned both within the same plane and at the same angle. Uh, one way to test this is by making sure that it is contact, a straight edge is contacting the sheave at uh, four points being on the circumference of uh, each of the sheaves. Another feature that you want to check is making sure that the angle of these sheaves is within the same plane of each other. Um, they can be slightly askew, but not much. I think the tolerance is around um, a half a degree. Um, so you want to check again. You want to check 
the four contact points, basically making sure that the sheaves are within the same plane horizontally and then in an inclination that is uh, consistent. Again, this is Brent Fetters Crouch with SBX Cooling Technologies. This has been a quick segment on uh, belt drive components. Mm -hmm.